Why do they keep doing this to us? Many Africans rightly ask this question in light of rampant neocolonialism. But we must now start asking another question much more. Why do we keep allowing them to do this to us? What can we as Africans and friends of Africa do to stop this neocolonialism? About 20 years ago, the Andres community from Kenya posed these questions and took action. They sued the Kenya government for evicting them from their homes at Lake Bogoria in the 1970s to make way for a national reserve and tourist facilities. On February 4, 2010, the African Commission on Human and People's Rights ruled that the Andres' eviction from their traditional land for tourism development violated their human rights. Unfortunately, 14 years after this landmark ruling, the Kenya government continues to deny the Endores community a return to their ancestral home and reparations for their forced eviction. To add insult to injury, the Endores have suffered even more robbery. U.S. biotech firm Genenco International, together with U.S. multinational Procter & Gamble, have made millions of dollars from Lake Bogori's enzymes. They didn't share even a single dollar with the Endores community, who are the local custodians of the microbes from which the enzymes were mined. I recently talked to Wilson Kipkazi, one of the leaders of the Endorose community. He told me that the struggle continues, a luta continua. You and I must be part of this struggle, not just for the Endorose community, but also for the Maasai, Congolese, Ethiopians, Cameroonians, and all communities across Africa who continue to suffer from neocolonialism and imperial exploitation enabled by their own governments. We must keep spreading awareness because knowledge truly is power. We must take these struggles to all courts, from national courts to the International Court of Justice and the International Criminal Court. But most importantly, we must keep holding our African governments accountable and work towards transformative leadership that doesn't keep jumping into bed with neo-colonialists.